Hi, everybody, and good morning. It is Tuesday, October 5th. I'm Dave Chodowski in for Danielle Wiggins with your three news now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC Facebook and Instagram pages. Let's get a check of our forecast first here with Holly. Dave, thank you. And looking ahead to the rest of the afternoon after plenty of fog through this morning that has burned off and we're seeing a mix of clouds and sunshine and warm weather for this time of the year. Still can't rule out an isolated shower this afternoon. It would be really random. A lot of you are just going to see that mix of clouds and sunshine and highs into the 70s, upper 60s, normal. Partly cloudy skies overnight, and as we get into your Wednesday, we're gonna kind of do it all over again with you know a spotty shower chance and partly sunny skies heading through tomorrow and even warmer. By later tomorrow, highs will be close to 80 degrees. I mean, this time of the year, and then you see those random shower chances showing up even getting into tomorrow evening, and that'll kind of set the tone for getting into the day on Thursday. I'll explain. Rest of today, though, after some patchy fog, if it has not already burnt off by you, we are in for that mix of clouds, sunshine, and just a spotty shower, 74 the high, winds from the east and northeast today. Upper 70s tomorrow, unbelievable, right? With partly sunny skies, an isolated shower, and then scattered shower chances in mid-70s on Thursday. Friday could even hear a rumble of thunder in there with highs in the mid 70s and then we're mid to upper 70s to near 80 degrees looking ahead to the weekend and early next week. Dave back to you. OK, Holly, thank you. We are starting with this video showing former Ohio State football head coach and current Jaguars head coach Urban Meyer and he's getting a lot of heat for it. It shows him at an Ohio bar dancing with a woman and it is not his wife. And yesterday he spoke publicly about it all. He said he went to dinner with his grandkids when some people from a party nearby asked for a photo and wanted him to dance. The video was taken some time after showing him and the woman who again, not his wife, dancing against him. He took time yesterday to apologize to his family, his players and fans. Yeah, I, uh, I just apologize to the team and staff and uh, for being a distraction. Um, Oh yeah, and they were upset, and just stupid, um, and so I explained everything that happened and owned it, and you know, just stupid. Uh, should not have myself in that kind of position. Oh, perhaps taking this story to the next level, a second video of Meyer and the young woman that is much more revealing. A video too inappropriate for us to show you. Well, yesterday the state announced Operation Ohio Knows, a human trafficking sting that resulted in the arrest of 161 people, including an Elyria councilman. Mark Jesse was arrested on soliciting sex charges. He went to the city council meeting last night, but he wasn't present. Councilman Jesse only faces a misdemeanor, which won't get him thrown off city council, but he is up for re-election. He is due in court tomorrow to face the charge of soliciting for sex. Also at the council meeting, discussion of body cameras for police officers. This comes after an officer slammed a man's head into the concrete when making an arrest last month. A timeline of the plan was laid out, and council plans to meet with three vendors this month and hope to present their final vendor choice by the end of the year. Well, an update now on this heartbreaking story and what we know after a little girl mauled to death by pit bulls in Akron. This happened on Westmoreland Street. Police say the parents of LaVey Lewis dropped off their daughter to be watched by her 20 year old uncle. Police say the uncle was arguing with a woman outside the home when inside the two dogs attacked the little girl. Neighbors described the horrific scene and we want to warn you, it's, it's very difficult to hear. And that's what I can't get out of my head, her screaming, you know, and the 911 operator car uh, carrying that baby out. That was just, that'll always be with me. Well, right now, no charges have been filed. All right, now to the latest on the coronavirus. As Ohio reported 4,212 new cases in the past 24 hours. That's well below our 21-day average, which is just about above 6,000. So where have the majority of COVID-19 cases been in Northeast Ohio? Well, according to the Ohio Department of Health, Medina has reported the highest number of cumulative COVID cases in the area. Right now, the city is at a rate of 12 cases per every 100 residents. That's followed by Elyria, Painesville, the Mentor, Mentor on the Lake area, and Maslin. 
The Ohio Department of Health shared some good news as we are now seeing indicators that COVID cases in Ohio appear to be peaking and headed toward a decline. I'd ask everyone to hang in there. Although our cases of COVID-19 remain extremely high, it is clear that our collective efforts really are paying off. We need to remain vigilant and we need to protect ourselves from the spread of COVID-19 through vaccination. Right now, just over 50% of Ohio is fully vaccinated. Dr. Vanderhoff also said again that the majority of, hosp of COVID hospitalizations are unvaccinated patients. Sad news from downtown Cleveland. We've learned Winking Lizard's gateway location is closed for good. When it initially shut down back in August, the owner said it could reopen next year, but the company said that it will remain closed and the staff there has taken positions at other locations. Here are the national headlines we are following and you definitely heard about this one, right? Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp were all down yesterday in a major outage. It knocked out service across the world for more than six hours. All three platforms are owned and operated by Facebook Inc. Facebook issued a statement at around 6.30 Monday night that its apps and services were being restored. Why it happened? Well. It is definitely an issue that they are dealing with right now as we move forward. Well, new overnight, a state of emergency has been declared in California over the oil spill in the Pacific Ocean. It's believed the leak occurred in a pipeline connecting a drilling platform to the shore. Divers are looking for the source of the rupture about four miles off coast and under more than 80 feet of water. Meanwhile, the threat to wildlife and nearby beaches is still very real. And no, unfortunately, no one in Ohio got lucky winning the Powerball last night, but someone in California is nearly $700 million richer. The state's lottery website says the ticket was purchased at a grocery store in Morro Bay. It's worth $699.8 million. If the winner takes an annuity, if taken as cash, the prize is $496 million. The next Powerball drawing is tomorrow. The estimated jackpot uh, it is down to $20 million. A new Christmas experience is coming to the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. Check out the details of the North Pole adventure, everybody. On the new ride, passengers will write letters to Santa on their way to the North Pole, and the North Pole Postmaster will hand deliver them to the North Pole Post Office. And of course, there will be plenty of hot cocoa and cookies and singing Christmas carols. If that sounds good to you, well, you better get to WKYC.com for the link to buy tickets. They go on sale today and it's expected to sell out fast. All right. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to join me for this three news now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and the world. Make sure to continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Dave Chodowski. I'll see you again Wednesday morning on go. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.